today's Friday and today's my cheat day. In a week I try to eat really, really healthy. And on Friday I try to eat naughty stuff. And like you know, I love cooking and I like cooking something naughty or some really heavy dessert. And yeah, I take you along with me. So it's new every Friday. It's a new episode on cheat day. Cheat Friday. Yeah. So the cheat food for our cook today is um, dough and it's filled with meat and yeah I think in lots of different countries like Russia, Korea, Japan they kind of have like these dumplings and well mine are a little bit different and I will show you how I do it and in Germany they call it Maltasch I think I still do them a little bit different than this because it's my own recipe my own spin on it so watch it First what I done is, I filled up two glasses of self rising flowers in my bowl, yeah a bowl, my green little bowl and yeah I put it in my bowl. <laughs> anyway this is a self rising flower I use, I got it from Kenya, from a Kenya supermarket. Then I use my dry yeast, I fill it in warm water, lukewarm water maybe leave it for a minute or so and for my spices what I put in is chili garlic salt it's yes yeah, it's really nice taste it's not too strong though it's just that the dough like to have a little bit of flavor in no so you see me stirring there so now I put a little bit water in there and add slowly more water till I got like a really nice dough first it's really sticky and it's so annoying uh, but when you put on a shelf a little bit more flour and the yeah beat the dough up, yes, get a really nice dough. Dough, right? <laughs> so now the dough is ready. I will cut this in four pieces, so I can roll them better out later on. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah. So here we go. This is the piece. I put the other three to the side. Then I get my wooden roller. I try to make it really flat because I, I will stump it out. So yeah, I roll it out really flat. Then I use my little gadget here, my little silver stumper. Normally I use that one to put rice on my plate really fancy. So yeah, but honestly I can use it for things like this as well and it goes so quick. See, here we go. You see all my little, little doughy round things. Yeah, I did well. This was such a hard work, but it will be worth it. Thumbs up. And my onion. So you need one onion. You can have a red onion, a white onion. It doesn't matter. You can have white. It doesn't really matter, does it? So, yeah, cut, 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 really nice and thin. I always cry when I cut the onions and the purple ones are the worst, right? So, yeah, here we go. This is my meat. It's 500 gram of beef meat and I mix it together with the onions. And I also put some cheese in there because why not? It's cheat day, isn't it? And what would be a cheat day without cheese, right? So, put this in there. And yeah, here we go. Oh my God, yeah, this is like a spices. This is a spice for fries in Germany and it's so good. And I put it in there as well because I think it's have a really nice taste to it. And obviously some uh, pepper. Pepper, 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 Yeah, and it's getting there. Ah, and also I got this from Germany. It's like a spicy pepper mix. I put a little bit of, uh, I put a little bit in there as well to give it a little bit of kick, boom. Because I like it spicy though. And here we go. My lovely hand is mushing the soil through. This is my least favorite part because I do not like um, doing that. Especially, I don't know. So rare. So rare. Here we go. You see the little dough thingies while I cut out? I roll over them again so they get a little bit more flatter and get a little bit more bigger. So uh, now I will fill the meat in there. Not too much, not too less. You will see here. You see this? I press them in there. Close it with my fingers, yeah, close it with my fingers. And then, um, you see, I do this little trick there. I know, I stole it from the big chefs in this world. <laughs> yeah, so it have to look like this. 
and make sure it's really good close otherwise yeah the cheese will melt out and the meat comes out it's not nice and we have to fry them later a little bit so yeah so you see these little ones here they look gorgeous I could eat them again here we go uh, you have to boil some water and I always put some chicken broth in there to give them a little bit better taste Bloop. Yeah, swim swim swim. This, yeah, I think it's nicer. It's nicer from a taste I always does with my potatoes or veggies as well because um, yeah, it's not taste so plain. Here we go They're cooking. They only need 10 minutes till they're all cooked. They look like this. They look really ugly now Super ugly, but wait for it what I will do now is put some re really nice salt butter in the pan and melt, melt, melt. This looks so sexy when the butter melt. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where it gets good. So I put them in the pan and the pan is on really high heat. I put some six. My, um, yeah, my oven, my, it's not going higher. And you see it's getting crispy now. Ooh, it's getting excited. Flip, flip, flip. You see that? And you hear that? Come on. Uh, yeah. So, and this is the end result. They're super crispy now. I put some barbecue sauce down there. Some chili sauce. And yeah, it looks so yum. And I will cut through now. Yeah, it's super crispy. And so it looks from the inside. So yeah, this is my recipe. I think, honestly, I did just the third time now and um, my husband said it's his favorite food for me he really likes it and he, this time he was at home when I did it and he said to me oh what are you doing now why why are you what, what is this for a dough and he said you, do you not buy it and I said nope I always did it for you and um, he said oh no way so he was like really impressed I did it by myself it's not that hard but yeah he was like thinking I uh, bought from the store the dough and uh, filled them up would be much easier actually well no uh, it's a good recipe honestly it's needed a little bit of time but it's so worth it they are so nice and crispy juicy when you have the barbecue sauce and the chili you see how excited i get again <laughs> i could eat them again no they are so gorgeous but anyway thank you so much for watching see you next friday and have a good cheat day